The UK and its allies trained and supported Afghan special forces like these. A vital partnership when going after terrorist and Taliban targets. But while their operations helped keep the streets of the UK safe, hundreds of these Afghan commandos say they're now in danger on their own streets following the Taliban takeover. Wanting to help, this Afghan accountant living in Birmingham is compiling a list of elite troops who are desperate to escape to Britain. Every single message that I receive is that we will be killed, uh, we are living in hiding, we are not in our villages, we are not in our homes. Rafi was a former interpreter for British Special Forces who fled the decade ago. But he's put his new life on pause to gather the names of some 400 Afghan commandos in need of help. They are the people who have served the British government for 20 years and so. Uh, they deserve a life free from you know, fear of you know, being killed by, by any terrorist group. It's not only the Taliban, the ISS. Leaving them behind, I see it uh, uh, a, uh, a failure of the UK government, um, a betrayal of these brave soldiers. And um, uh, they deserve to, to, to live a life of dignity and, and safety. Also on his list are some 200 former interpreters and other staff who worked for the UK in Afghanistan but didn't make the evacuation flights either. Rafi plans to share his list with the government to pressure ministers into action. One former interpreter in hiding in Kabul told me he couldn't reach the airport to be evacuated last month because of crowds and Taliban checkpoints. When I went on that day, the Taliban they beat me with their AK-47s. Now we demand from the British government if they could work on some sort of third country evacuation. How are you doing? All good? Thanks. What's happening? Boris Johnson has pledged to help those left behind, with the Ministry of Defence saying its offer to relocate anyone eligible will stay open. Another former interpreter, whose identity we're protecting, is worried about his father, a one-time gardener for UK forces in Afghanistan, who's still stranded there. Well, he said the Taliban came uh, into our village, because the Taliban's everywhere now in, in Afghanistan. He said to me, I don't trust anymore. I don't, I don't trust anymore. Trust you? Uh, I mean, I, I don't trust the, 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 the government, the UK government, because he said they, they, they have promised me so many times, but look at that, I'm still left behind. For the special forces, as well as fear of capture, many no longer have a job and money is running short. It means time is running out for the UK to make good on its word to rescue its friends. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.